Hi folks, welcome to Bad Barry's Bar again. Good to see you all. Hope you're all keeping well and all enjoying life, ready for a joke. Well, tonight I'm going to do something a little different. James Bond, big hero of mine, English of course, and you know he's made about 27 different films. Quite amazing. I mean, different actors of course, but of course uh, I like Sean Connery, the guy at the beginning with his... Uh, his drinks and you know he he made the drink famous the uh, the uh, vodka martini when he started back in 69 vodka was pretty much unknown in England but there was something you know exciting about it it was Russian it was a special drink and here's James Bond you know 007 license to kill he's drinking this stuff well I don't know if you know how to make it but it's actually made up of uh, vodka and vermouth dry vermouth there's two vermouth there's the dry vermouth and there's the italian vermouth which is sweeter this is with the dry vermouth and it's uh, two and a half ounces of uh, vodka and a half an ounce of vermouth so let's see how we make that well here's a glass Put in some ice. Darn it. Just use my fingers, it's a lot quicker, as I'm going to drink it anyway. Okay. Now we want the good stuff. Two and a half ounces of vodka, which is about, uh, about that. Good two and a half. And a little bit of vermouth, half ounce of vermouth. A good measure there. And then normally you'd have a little squirt of bitter orange, but I don't have bitter orange, so I use a lemon juice. Just a sousson. That's it. And then, of course, it has to be shaken, not stirred. 20 seconds shaken. I don't really know quite the difference between shaken and stirred, but you know, we've got to do it the right way if we're going to be a, have a real James Bond drink. There we go. There we are. That looks pretty small, but I guess it's powerful. Well, to James Bond and all you James Bond lovers, cheers. Oh my god, that's horrible. That is not my favourite drink. That is definitely not a gin and tonic, I can tell you. Or even a whiskey soda. But, you know, we Brits stiff up a lip and all that, I'll have another swig. Good luck, James Bond. Good luck. <laughs> Don't try this at home, as they say. <laughs> you know, uh, haven't had that drink, I feel I ought to go to a doctor. <laughs> To revive me but uh, talking of doctors you know a lady went to a doctor and she had a dead duck with her she she thought the duck was alive so she showed it to the vet she said, look my duck is really ill and it was laid out there not moving and the vet looked he said the duck's dead she said it can't be dead she said it was alive this morning it was running around the place it was fine what do you mean it's dead check it again so the old doctor went over it checked it again it wasn't breathing he said no it's definitely dead man she said, it can't be dead, I'm telling you. He said, wait. So he went out and he came back with a dog. This dog went up to this duck, sniffed the duck all over, and just came and sat there and looked at the vet. And the vet said, look, it's dead. Even the dog knows it's dead. She said, it can't be. So he said, all right. And out he went, you see. And he came back with a cat. And this cat came up and the cat looked at the duck cautiously. And it went up to the duck and it sniffed it. And it started licking it. And then it walked away and just sat down. He said, look, it's dead. But even the cat wouldn't have gone up to it if the duck was alive and breathing. So she reluctantly said, oh, well, okay, I'm sad to hear that. I've loved this duck. It's been with me for several years. I'm really sad that it's gone. She said, well, how much do I owe you? And he said, well, he said, that's going to be $320. She said, $320 to tell me my duck is dead? What are you talking about? He said, well, I told you the duck was dead first of all. He said, if you'd accepted that, he said it would have been $20. But on top of that, he said, he said you've had a, uh, a lab test 
and a CAT scan. He said, that's another 300 bucks. He said, so it's $320. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I tell you, these vets, you've got to watch them, you know. Okay, folks, well, uh, now you can go and mix your vodka martinis, and I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Uh, see you again very shortly. We've got some other really good jokes for you. Christy will be, on ne be in next time. She's got a couple of jokes for you as well, so uh, we hope we cheer you all up. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.